Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? What are you doing on YouTube if you're not subscribed to Newsroom Nigeria? Please go right to the subscribe button and click on it. Join this amazing community we have here. Give this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news, Obi accepts Supreme Court's judgment, says obedient movement remains. The presidential candidate of a Labour Party, Peter Obi, has accepted the judgment of the Supreme Court, which affirmed the election of President Bola Tinubu. Obi, however, said the judgment would not signify the end of the obedience movement. The former Anambra State Governor said with the legal battle over, the Labour Party was now in opposition. He said his resolve for new Nigeria was still intact. Obi broke his silence on the Supreme Court judgment at a news conference on Monday, November 6, in Abuja. The Supreme Court on September 26 upheld the September 6 judgment of a presidential election petition tribunal affirming the declaration of Tinubu as duly elected president. The seven member panel led by justice john iang okoro dismissed the appeal filed by the people's democratic party pdp candidate atiko abubaka who came second in the election and obi who came third obi said and i quote in the coming months we will build the party we will make it stronger we will build those young people who will come out stronger and more committed to a new Nigeria. The future is dynamic. Our focus now is to ensure that we do the right thing for the benefit of Nigeria. Some people in some, <laughs> some use or some obedience, some are obedient, some are not obedient, they were clamoring that uh, Peter Obi should give account of how he spent the money that was donated by obedience to him during the campaign, how the money was spent and all of that. I don't know if he has, if he has done that, but let me know in the comment section if he has, but I, don't, I have not seen any news of that sort saying that he has given account. But anyway, moving on, um, I'm so glad that at this point, I've never even heard, it has never happened before, that a president, a sitting president, will be removed huh, in this Nigeria. <laughs> right from the start, I've been, I've, been, I've been skeptic. I've been saying, <laughs> I'm not sure, you know, that this is going to happen. But thank God that uh, I'm not happy that uh, Tinobu was, you know, was announced to have won the election but at the same time we all know that it takes money to do these things for Peter Obi and Atiku to have even gone to court after the election it, it has taken a lot of money even for Atiku to you know go outside the country to also file a suit there as well you guys should know that it must have taken a lot of money and now I think that they are realizing that <laughs> there's nothing we can do. 
there's nothing we can do. In fact, there's nothing we we could have done that we have not done already. So it's just best for us to take a back seat and just act as watchdogs, you know, and act as the opposition party that we are and criticize these people when they are making mistakes, when they are doing things that we think is not right. Let's criticize them and actually do the work of an opposition party. And like Peter Obi has said, this is not the end of obedience movement obedience movement is still on and going stronger and he also made mention of the fact that they are going to try to build the party and make it stronger i hope that he still remains in labor party come the next election you know when come another four years when we are going to have another election i strongly hope that he remains in labor party you know because that is the most logical thing that he can do and by then probably he might win he might not win anyhow <laughs> i shall be here giving you you know the the tea before we go guys let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online Dele Shola says even if ob doesn't accept the judgment of the supreme court what would he do does he have any option Tokumbo Odusoya says, Now you just graduated from the School of Politics and Reality. That's your plan, strategy. Build before you execute, not with your noisemakers and clueless followers, giving you false hope and voting with online bullying. You need to give reality, not internet warriors. I believe you knew all this, but just want to play a gallery, pretending to be ignorant of the truth. Hmm. It's a Jerry Daniel says, does the statement made by OB in the write-up an indication or means an acceptance of defeat or unjust verdict? OB is the man of the people any moment and not clueless Jagaban. Hmm. Peter Emoko says, Peter Obi, my name's sick, has proven to be a Democrat, a dogged fighter, and a good sportsman. It is only a wise and humble person that knows when to throw on the towel during a fight. Mm. Lastly, another person says, this is why the politicians see us finish in this country. Why would be who accept the court's judgment? <laughs> Why won't he accept the court's judgment? Please, what is the other option that he has? The other option is to cause chaos and fight. And I think that even at this point, it's too late for that because that could have happened immediately after the election. And it did not happen. And nobody wants war. Please, do you want to live in a country that has there that there's no peace? Right now, Israel and Palestine, they are fighting, killing themselves, you know, doing all sorts. They are praying for peace right now. Nobody wants war in Nigeria. We don't want war in this country. Russia and Ukraine are still at it. So what do you want? What's it? Do you want war? <laughs> Please, nobody wants war. We don't want war in this country. Let's just mellow down and accept. That is just it. He has no, no other option. They know that when we make this noise here and there, we will cool down. That's why this criminal will be doing what they are doing. No respect for the country and for the citizens. The masses supposed to know that nothing without actions. What we need now is action. Nigeria are too, Nigerians are too afraid. Those criminals know this. That's why they do what they do, and it's go well for them, so they didn't care. Please, Oga, nobody wants war. <laughs> nobody. As we sit down jejeli for this country, it better like that than for us to be escaping bullets here and then. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you all think? Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that. I will see you.